This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the quick and easy way to build a kick-ass website. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm taking a look at the contents of this enormous box. This is the Noble Chairs Epic Series Real Leather in Black. It's a gaming chair, in case you couldn't tell, and I'm really not an expert when it comes to gaming chairs. I'm still sort of conflicted about the whole thing. I do use one, I have a Maxnomic, which I did review back on the channel a few, maybe a year ago. But uh, honestly, I love that chair. It's been fantastic, but it's really the only basis of comparison I have for reviewing this chair. So I'm gonna be making a lot of those comparisons today between those two model, these two models. This is supposed to be a better chair, according to the manufacturer, than something like the Maxonomic because it features real, genuine leather and it's all sexy and stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and test it out just to see what all the features entail, and then we're gonna go circle back and do a little conclusion to see exactly if this thing is worth the five or six hundred dollars that you might spend on it. So on that note, I'm gonna crack this box over, we're gonna put it together and check this baby out. All right, here she is in all her glory. Or maybe it's a heat. I'm not sure. Uh, but installation was super smooth and easy. Probably took me 25, 30 minutes max to get this thing all set up. Instructions over there. We're super clear, there's a really nice big picture, it's very descriptive, and uh, everything went really smoothly on the installation front, didn't really run into any issues. This thing was up and running in no time, so that's good. Uh, you can see I've got my Maxonomic Kia, my daily driver, uh, just gonna put it right here for comparison. We'll be doing a little left and righty uh, occasionally throughout the rest of this review. Um, so I think the best way to do this right now is to start from the bottom. We'll start from the bottom and then we'll go to the top and we'll work our way to all the other things that are going on up there. I'm just gonna sit on the floor right now. Hope that's cool with you guys. Uh, so the first thing I wanna point out is the base here. It's full aluminum and it's kinda got a nice uh, matte black powdered coated finish. And uh, it seems very sturdy. Build quality is top notch here. Uh, it, it does have five, it's a five star design. So you've got casters on the bottom of each of those wings. And uh, the casters are really, really actually nice. They, uh, they slide very easily, whether you're on hardwood floor and I did test it out on the carpet as well. Slides very easily, um, pretty much on par with the Maxonomic. Sorry, it's all like dirty and dusty. I, I should have cleaned that before the video. Uh, but you can see this has got more of a glossy finish on the five-star base. Uh, and I believe, I can't remember if this is aluminum or metal. It's one or the other, but honestly, they're pretty much on par. They do look a bit different because of the gloss versus the powder coat. I actually do like the powder coat a bit more. I think it looks, just looks a little bit more subdued. I don't like gloss on pretty much anything. And, uh, and yeah, so just right up here, you can see we've got two of these black levers. All right, so there's one here and there's one here. So this one, I believe, adjusts the rocking mechanism. So if you enable that, you can actually rock the chair back and forth like a rocking chair. Uh, and you can also adjust the tension of that with this knob as well. You can adjust the rocking tension, whether you want it to teeter very easily or have a bit more resistance to it. Uh, and also, if you don't like the rocking, um, the rocking mechanism, you can actually lock it into place if that's what you're into. So that's nice. And then all, all over here, you've got, uh, this one's for height, I believe. It's already maxed out on the height, but uh, you can adjust the seat up or down, uh, however you like. Obviously, I will have mine in the lowest position because I'm short. You guys know that already. And also we've got a little bit of an incline here. This is a lever that we've got for the, the backrest itself. It's kind of like, it works just like the, uh, the little uh, arm seat or the backrest lever in a car for example. And this is also, all, so far all the features that I've just talked about in terms of like seat adjustability um, are also found on the Maxonomic, including this lever here. The lever is full metal. It's got a plastic grip on it for, so it's not gonna like, you know, cut your hand or anything like that. It is very sturdy. And I would say build quality all around is, is pretty solid. Uh, and then you've got the armrests. These, these are what they're calling 4D or four dimensional armrests. And um, they're pretty much exactly the same 
as the ones on the Maxonomic. They are indistinguishable of each other, but that's not a bad thing because I really I really do like these 4D armrests. So what you can do is they've got, there's, there's just levers everywhere. So you can adjust up and down like that. You've got this button here that adjusts how far forward or far back you'd like your armrest to be, which is nice. And then you've got another button here that adjusts uh, inward or outward positioning. So depending on how wide your shoulders are apart and stuff like that, you'll be comfortable. And also the last one is that you can actually rotate these things just by turning them. See, you can rotate it inward. So if you uh, tend to bow out your elbows or maybe like that, maybe that's how you game. Who knows? Or you can just go straight, of course. So a lot of options with the armrests. Moving on to the seat and the backrest itself. In terms of quality, we'll go over the build quality first. Uh, super high quality. I mean, this thing is pretty much as good as it gets. It's one of the best that I've seen. Actually, I've only really only ever seen this one. Uh, but the, uh, the stitching job for one here is just super good. It's just, um, it's really clean. There's no fraying of any kind. And it's just, it's the same type of quality throughout the entire chair. It looks phenomenal. And you can see there's even some, some diamond stitching which not only looks good, but uh, I guess it provides a bit of, a bit of uh, it's a bit more breathable. Speaking of breathability, underneath all of this leather, uh, inside the, uh, the seat itself, as well as the backrest, you'll find some open cell cold foam, uh, which is again, very breathable. So it stays uh, more or less cool. Doesn't actually um, warm you up too much, especially in like high summer periods. Also, it's got a nice firmness to it. And it's a, it's a bit more firm than the Maxnomic, but that's also because I've been sitting in this chair for almost 12 months now. So it, it has softened up. Uh, I've definitely broken it in as I do sit in it every single day for long periods of time. So I'd imagine that this, this would soften up a little bit as well. It's a bit firm for my liking, but again, I think after breaking it in, uh, it would be just perfect for, for, my, for my sweet cheeks. Now, of course, let's not ignore the genuine leather material that's being used on the backrest as well as on the seat itself because this is one of the biggest features that Noble Chairs is priding themselves with the, their Epic Series lineup. And uh, what's, what's the difference between imitation leather and genuine leather when it comes to a gaming chair? Well, I'm glad you asked. First thing is what I would say is like look and feel, right? So you can kind of tell actually, if you look from side to side at the Maxnomic over there and the Epic Series, that I don't know, it just looks a little bit more cheap on the Maxonomic. It's a bit more glossy. Maybe that's my back sweat. Ugh. But you you definitely can tell, especially when you feel the leather with your with your with your soft caress. However, my back and my butt can't really tell the difference when sitting in the chair itself. So the genuine leather, I will say, does not make the chair any more comfortable. That's more so dependent on the back and butt support, as well as like the cold, uh, the open cell cold foam and stuff like that. Uh, however, there are certain other benefits to genuine leather other than the look and feel, which include durability. So for, for one, it's more resistant to UV stuff, UV exposure, as well as moisture. So if you guys tend to sweat a lot during like long gaming sessions, or whatever other sessions you might be engaged in, then perhaps genuine leather is the way to go over the imitation stuff. Now to be fair, to really test out the durability between these two types of leather, I would have to sit in each one an equal amount of time for a prolonged period of time, not just a few hours, but several months perhaps to see how they each hold up. Unfortunately, I've only ever sat in the Maxnomic for that period of time. And I will say in its defense, it's held up quite nicely, even though it does have imitation leather. There's really very minimal signs of wear and tear, if, if any at all. All. I mean, other than maybe getting stretched a little bit here, uh, you, you, there is a bit of stuff here. Do you see those little, little markings? That's not actually wear and tear. Those are my king cats. I hate those little pickers. But truth be told, the pleather here on the Maxnomic has actually held up pretty well, and I'm super happy with it. So it would be interesting to sit in the Epic Series chair for a year or so and do a bit of a comparison, but uh, maybe maybe I'll circle back in a year from now, who knows? Now, perhaps the biggest question that we need to answer today in this sort of comparison review is which one of these chairs is more comfortable to sit in? And uh, that, that's actually important because even if you have a ton of features like both of these chairs do, if the chair is not comfortable, for any period of time, then it's kind of like all those other features don't really matter, do they? Do they? So if I would have to give my honest opinion here, and Wifey Sauce actually agrees with me on this, is that the Maxnomic, in both of our opinions, is the more comfortable chair. Um, not so much for the butt. I mean, the butt on both of these is quite comfortable. Granted, uh, the Maxnomic's a bit more broken in, but the problem with the Epic Series chair lies in the back support, I think, because if you look at this, it's pretty flat. So unless you have a really flat back, 
um, that's not going to work out for you. I actually have a pretty sizable arch in my back, so I need good lumbar support. And the great thing about the Maxonomic, you can already see it's like bulging out a bit. It's got this knob. I don't know if you guys remember this knob from my review on this chair, but it's a uh, adjustable lumbar support. So if you turn it, you can start to see it bulging out a little bit. It's very subtle. It might be hard to see on camera, but it actually bulges out, you know, and uh, forms to your back and you can crank it however you want. It's completely adjustable. There's no option. There's no such option for like that on the Epic Series chair, which is kind of a disappointment. Instead, to remedy that, the loss of any adjustable back support, they've included this pillow. That's your that's your lower lumbar support, which I don't know, for a five or $600 chair, I would expect a little bit more here. And the problem with this pillow is that unless your back is exactly the dimensions with the same arch and stuff, it's not gonna feel right. And uh, when I when I had Wifey Sauce sit in this chair for the first time, she said, you know, what I thought she would, it's too flat, the back is too flat. So I tried having her sit in it again with the pillow, and then she said, well, it's too poofy now. And it was actually sticking out so far for her that her upper back wasn't able to touch the backrest uh, properly. So it's just, you know, it needs to be a bit more adjustable than that. The head pillow is great though. GG. For a, for a critique here, probably the biggest critique out of this whole review is Noble Chairs, if you're listening, keep everything else the same. This chair is freaking awesome. The build quality is top notch. It really is a top class chair. The one thing I would add is adjustable lower lumbar support. And that is the biggest difference between the Maxonomic and the Epic series here today. And I would say it's, it's pretty damn important. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts, and I really do need a cameraman. Let me know what you think of the chair and what you think about genuine leather. Is that something that you look for when shopping for a gaming chair, or does it really not matter to you much? I'm very curious to know. Um, also, I will say thank you to today's sponsor because they are awesome. Squarespace, apart from being really awesome guys to work with and collab with and, and sponsor stuff with, uh, they also have an amazing service where you can develop websites very easily on the cheap. So I actually have my entire website, bitwit.com slash store, as well as the main, the main page, all developed through Squarespace. And I have jack shit for web design experience, guys. I think the most experience I have with web design is I failed a class on it in college once. But other than that, I have no idea what I'm doing. So Squarespace makes it super easy for me to just click some stuff, pick a template, and then you can actually go in and customize by clicking and dragging and just more clicking. There's no coding involved, really. Uh, I think there is an option to code if you want, if you're all, if you are more advanced. But for the most part, if you're a web design noob like myself and you just have an idea or you have a company or a business or a startup or a blog, then Squarespace is a great place to look. Also, if you guys want a discount for your membership there, you can go ahead and type in the offer code BITWIT at the link that I provided in the description below and you will get 10% off of that subscription. But that's gonna do it for now, guys. Go ahead and toss me a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe for more tech videos coming at you really soon. And I will see you all in the next video.